Mom, think back for just a moment to when I was still developing inside of you. I want to share with you something really cool. We used to think there was a placenta and on one side of it was me and the other side of it was you. And to be sure, we shared a lot. But we shared the same food. What you ate built and nourished both of us. We shared the same oxygen. It couldn't get much closer than that, could it? Well, it turns out it can. Now we know that living cells from a mother will cross the placenta, part of who she is, her DNA, will cross the placenta and become part of the baby. And living cells from the developing baby will cross the placenta. Living cells with their DNA will cross the placenta and become part of mom. Now you would think that since a woman has a mature immune system, that within days those would be eliminated. But it turns out they're there not just for days, not just for years, but for decades. Mom, in all probability, living cells of me are alive in you right now now. And, and even for women who have lost pregnancies, who've lost babies, living cells from those babies in all probability will be in them for the rest of their lives. So you didn't stop carrying me the day that I was born. You're still carrying me today. And what are those cells doing inside? Well, like any relationship, it's kind of complicated. There's a whole area of science now devoted to figuring out the different effects that they have, and there appear to be many of them. But the one that reminds me of you is that some of those cells, the stem cells, that are there for a lifetime, help protect and defend the mom in several ways. Some protect against environmental chemicals. Some protect against certain types, not all types, of cancer. But the one that reminded me of you today was the heart. There's been some really interesting research about there's this really terrible heart condition called cardiomyopathy, damage to the heart muscle itself, where the only treatment often has been heart transplant. But there's an odd thing. Out of all the different types of heart failure in humans, the one that recovers the best is cardiomyopathy if it happens to be in a woman and happens to be after pregnancy. Nobody's known why, but 50% of the time it gets better on its own, which should be devastating. Well, now we know that fetal cells that have crossed the placenta and take root in mom will show up at exactly the time and place where heart damage happens. And that they'll show up in skyrocketing numbers and they'll start turning into the kinds of cells that mom needs. Some of them will turn into cells of the lining of the heart. Some will turn into smooth muscle cells like for coronary arteries. But mom, some of them turn into living, beating heart cells in the mother. Wherever you go, we're together. I love you so much. Happy, happy Mother's Day.